Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Derek Ledwich from Strive Fitness and Performance. Today, we are going to go over how to use MyFitnessPal. Um, for example, I'm going to use what we do for our uh, main challenges. Uh, as we go through this, realize that uh, it is really, really dependent on what your numbers are and where you are at. Some people are ready to go on my fitness pal some people it's a little bit different and uh, we there's a whole bunch of different ways that we can food log we do not necessarily need to use my fitness pal so just listen to your uh, coaches and then we go from there but we do use my fitness pal generally especially with challenges just because it's super super easy to um, to log it and for your coaches to see it um, so that way we don't have to hand in a whole bunch of papers or anything like that we can go through every single day and you, um, it's really easy to learn how to adjust as we go along. Um, for us right now, I'm going to go through this. We're typically just on a uh, regular one for me. When you do go for, uh, sign up for My Fitness Pal, it generally gives you just like a random number um, on here. So we're going to go in here and adjust for our goals. All right. So. For our typical challenge, and again, these will be different for each person, but the general rule of thumb, we're going to go in here and hit edit. Okay, so these are already set up to pretty much where I want to go for uh, for guys. We want to set in here, go to 1800. I'm going to go about 40% for protein. We want a little bit more for, for guys. That's going to give us about 180 grams um for body weight 25 percent for fat and 35 percent for carbs just because again the whole muscle building thing guys generally handle carbs a lot better and here are grams per day all right so now i would click cha uh, save changes but this is already set up so i am going to go into now what the um women's section will be it's going to be 1400 i'm going to go down the protein we're going to be at 35%. It's going to give us around 123. Again, 120 is what your guide says. That's no big deal. Fats, I'm going to be at 35%. And then carbs are going to be at 30. So we have a little bit higher um, fat content than anything else. Um, key note, when we do do this, any, the, either of these can easily be adjusted. We want this to be consistent, but these can start moving up and down as well. So if I naturally eat more carbs a little bit, obviously it has to be healthy stuff, my fats will end up starting to come down as well. Okay, um, and then we adjust as we go on. All right, so I'm not gonna click save because I'm just gonna keep these as mine. I'm gonna go back to goals. Okay, anything else we don't necessarily have to edit outside of fitness okay so i'm gonna come down to here okay basically i don't want any of this on here okay so i um i don't necessarily care about the logging um all of these should be basically zeros okay i'm not going to let it adjust to anything that i do if you use something like a fitbit or anything like that or a wa apple watch it's good to help you um, stay accountable and things like that, but we do not want to make it adjust in our MyFitnessPal because it's going to jump off our numbers and we really won't know where to go. And it's not really um, as accurate as you might think. So we really want to use MyFitnessPal as just a food log. Okay, so I'm going to go back up here and I am going to go to food. Okay. So here is a day. Okay, so right now we're at Thursday, January 4th. Here are typical things that we want to look at. So the nice thing about MyFitnessPal is A, you can use this on your phone. Um, on one of the phone settings, it's going to end up looking, there's going to be a barcode on there as well, and you can uh, you can scan anything that you're about to eat, um, and it makes it relatively e easier because it just pops it right back in, uh, into the, um, the app. Um, I can also save recipes. So people are generally creatures of habit. So if I have a, a recipe that I always use, I can save it in here so it's super, super easy to look up. 
one of the downfalls of doing a MyFitnessPal as opposed to anything else is simply because when you do put in like a homemade recipe or homemade meal, you have to sort of nitpick and put every single little thing in there. But if you just do it the one time, you can save it on there. If it's not a recipe, a lot of times everything's saved as common um, common matchups. So your foods, like so for instance, I constantly have coffee and protein powder. If I put, pro, if I put coffee in there, that same exact one, it'll pop under, uh, underneath the protein powder because that's what I always pair it up with. So we're going to go here. We're going to add food for breakfast. Okay. So here's the, what I mean about the nice things. These are all the ones that I constantly put in. Here are the quantities. Here are the, um, the serving size. I can go to frequent. And then the same thing. My foods. I don't have anything saved in. Meals, recipes. I generally don't put recipes in there, so that's all going to be relatively the same. Okay. So, my regular breakfast. We got coffee here, for the protein powder. And then one of the things that I generally do is oatmeal. But instead, we're going to do the one packet of oatmeal. And I'll explain why that's a little bit different as you go like there. Okay, key note. Okay, I always put um, protein powder in my oatmeal. So I have basically two servings of protein for, for breakfast. So we got to make sure that that's on there. Okay, and then one scoop, one packet, everything as we go there. So I'm going to click that in there. I'll explain what I mean by the checking. Okay, so my typical breakfast, we're right here. Okay, so I have five, uh, 540 calories, 74 carbs, 7 uh, grams of fat, 56 grams of protein, and as long as these are relatively um, smaller, they're fine. And you'll see, notice the this big number right here. Okay. Um, one of the things as we go into here too, the typical portion of carbs is around 20 to 30 grams. So we see that this is very, very large, mostly because of this. Oh, actually, I had two packets in there. Oops. So here's what I, here's what I mean by uh, messing up right here. So I thought I put one packet in there and see how much bigger this is. I have to make sure that I have um, that I have the same. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in here, click on this, and we see that servings, two servings equals one packet. Okay, so I only had one, so I'm gonna adjust that. And bam, there you go. So it's still a little bit higher, mostly because of the protein and stuff like that. But again, we're around the same, we're around the same area. Now these things are a little bit uh, smaller, but you see how much different that is. We had 74, now we have 40, 42. So we have to make sure that we are putting the portions in there um, and things like that. So now say I have to search. Okay, we're going to go right here to add food for lunch. Say I put in, we're going to go with oatmeal again. So say I have oatmeal. We see start seeing some of the discrepancies, especially with the calories, okay, and the portion sizes, the amount, everything like that. So here's 71 calories, and again, it's a ladle, four ounces. So it's not like it's something that we usually do, okay. Right here, half a cup equals 150. Half a cup equals 150. So these are the common ones. So look at all the different ones. McDonald's serving 290. One packet equals 100. Half a cup, stuff like that. So we have to make sure that these are correct as we go on here. Okay. So I'm going to add some more stuff in here. We go to dinner. So what do I usually have? So here's my typical dinner. So you notice that oatmeal is not is not up here anymore because I usually don't have that for dinner. That's what's nice about this. Let's say I have chicken breast, this, this, and do that too. I'm gonna make it an olive oil. We're going to add all that checked. All right. 
my dinner, which I generally, okay, let's say I had a workout. We always say we want to earn our, earn our uh, carbs. So here we go. I have 462 calories, 47. So look at all this food right here and see that. Okay, whole bunch of carbs up here. Not a whole lot out here considering, mostly because this is the only thing that I had. I had veggies um, up the wazoo and all that stuff. 33 grams for protein. Okay, so got a good amount, uh, uh, portion size about 20 to 30. Sodium and sugar down. Okay, so we see that. So this is, here's what I mean about um, adjusting the portions. And the macros, we'll talk about that a little bit as well. But say I have... After a little bit, we talk about, okay, maybe my protein is constantly down. Maybe this is what I constantly eat, even though the lunch would not exactly be the best thing. Um, say this is what I usually eat. Okay, well, we have to we have to eat more. Say I have, say I can't eat anymore possibly. Like there's only literally three times a day that I can eat. Well, now we just adjust. So instead of having four ounces, say I have two portions. It's usually what a guy has anyway. Okay. Boom, that just shot up. Now instead of 33, now I have 59. So you see how this all adjusts. And as we come down here, so say this is a typical day, I come down here and I'm constantly here. Okay, and this is really like obscenely low. Well, especially as a guy, this is what we want. Okay, now I just have to look in here and how can I adjust this to make this really good, okay, especially with our macros. So I need a ton more protein. So maybe I add a couple snacks, right? Add portions or anything like that. I'm generally pretty good on fat. Um, and then carbs, a little low, but again, you just you just have to add a couple more things. Okay. That's gonna be the biggest thing is A, we want to make sure that these are correct. Okay, we have to make sure that my two scoops is actually the two scoops. Okay, I don't want to click on this and in reality only use one because then this is going to be inaccurate. Okay, same thing. I want to make sure that I am having this instant oatmeal maple okay, as opposed to just instant oatmeal. Okay, mostly because this is going to have a lot more sugar than the regular stuff. Okay, so you see right here the quick oats oatmeal. Almost about the same type of carbs but no sugars. So we have to make sure that that is correct. Yeah, that's the one of the good things about my fitness pal. You can scan it, so if you're just guessing which one it is, it's right there. Okay, that's generally how we use my fitness pal. Okay, if we're making meals and recipes and stuff like that, we just have to plug each little thing in there, you know, and sort of go from there. But then they're saved. So if you have a big giant salad, it may be tedious at first, but again, the more accurate or the more um exact you want your your results the more exact you're going to need to be especially at the beginning now if we're just somewhere just uh trying to figure out healthier lifestyle and things like that just trying to um, add a couple things here and there we don't necessarily need to use my fitness panel and that's one of the things we'll talk about uh through our coaching is we could literally just fix a meal here eat a little bit healthier and you're gonna be good but if we start losing um losing results we sort of have to come back to here and just See where we're at and make sure we're food logging and see where we need to make some fixes.